Motion tracking in After Effects. Now there's a couple of ways to do this, but this is probably the easiest way to do it with just a few clicks. Now we're in After Effects here. Drag your video to the timeline, which will create a composition. With your clip selected, click on Track Motion in the Tracker panel, or you can find it under Animation and Track Motion. This will add this little tracker here. And you can uh, actually resize this area. You want to track a high contrast area. In this case, this corner of the building might be a good spot because you have like different colors, different brightness values. That should work just fine. Now place it here and then just track forward. All right, now the motion is tracked and we want to pin our logo to this building here. But um, instead of using the logo itself, which you could do as well, we're gonna use a little helper, a null. So go to layer, new, null object, back on our track clip, hit edit target. And in the pop-up, just select the null layer, which is done automatically here. Hit okay, and now hit apply. It will ask you if you want to apply the X and Y position or only X, only Y, we want to apply both. Okay, and now you can see in the canvas already that the null is located exactly where our tracker was. And when you scrub through the timeline, you see it's following that motion. And now the very last step, bring in our logo. I'm using my own logo here, drop it into the composition. We want to pick whip that to the null. And as you can see, it's following that position, okay? But here's a nice little trick to inherit the position of the null. Just hold down the shift key before you pick whip, okay? Hold down the shift key, then pick whip to the null, and now watch what happens on the canvas. Boom, it does inherit the position of the null. And that's basically it. When you now export it, you're gonna have your perfect track. Now you might be thinking, hold on a minute, it's kind of offset a little, I want it to be in the right in the middle. How do I do that? Well, that's simple. You can just offset it with the anchor point value. Here, a logo, hit the A key, and now with the anchor value, you can uh, actually reposition this logo relative to its position value, okay? Without touching the position value, that's the important thing here. Hang on a second, let's give it a value of 310, just like that, okay? So the anchor point is always a good way to reposition something without actually touching the position value. And that's it. That's the easiest way to track motion in Adobe After Effects.